Well, here's me being inundated with my dogs. There's Christopher and Chase and their mother and an interloper who actually is related. She, this black thing here, Pussy, say hello Pussy Poo. Well, she is a granddaughter of a dog that's over there called Luca and these are also his grandchildren so I think that makes him a cousin and Chase wants to be introduced properly because he's biting me there he is say hello Chase <laughs> all right Mary Grace I know you're there and I know you want attention oh don't bite my face so Whitney is sulking laying on the thingy next to me the armchair next to me I've just eaten my dinner and I'm playing silly buggers with the dogs now but they all quite happily are sort of just piled on top of me and sort of want to sleep except they don't keep still and I think they maybe have decided, oops, yep, that one's gone. One of them's gone. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Are you staying or are you going, eh? Alright, go. Oof. <laughs> Here we are, pussy. <clears throat> oh, listen you, you can lick but don't bite. You've got to learn not to bite. I know I'm tasty, but I don't wish to be eaten. Not until I'm dead. And I'll be dead long after you, so you won't get to eat me. When I die, I fancy being um, <clears throat> I can't remember who did it, whether they were Zara Thrustrons or something like that, um, where they lay out the body on a very tall platform and let the birds eat it. I think that would be really nice. It's sort of giving yourself back to the world without being buried. I think the reason it appeals to me is there's absolutely no chance you can be buried alive even though I have been told that there's no chance you can be buried alive nowadays anyway because they take all your blood out of your body and replace it with gunk. Um, well as long as they make sure you're dead before you do before they do that. Anyway, so I rather like that idea Oh, I beg your pardon. Did you want something? He's a talker. He's learning to talk like his granddad. What? What are you doing, Chase? What do you want? What do you want? Oof, what? Give us your paw then. Give me your paw then. There's a good boy. What about the other one? Can I have the other one? Oof. <clears throat> Come on in. Give me your paw. Show them how you'd give your paw. Give me your paw then. Come on, give me a paw. There's a good boy. Are you going to give me a paw? Oh, it's a bit difficult to do from your position, isn't it? <laughs> he's ever such a cute boy. He's a big softy. And he's weird. Like all our Zapsos are. They all have their weird little idiosyncrasies. And this one is definitely weird. Oh, now stop biting. Stop biting. Not good. That's it. That's better. Calm down. Oh, you just got down, Christopher. Excuse me. <coughs> but now Christopher wanted to be back up. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it. Give me a chew. I'm rubbing his tummy and his reaction is to chew my finger. <laughs> Ow. But he does it very gently. He's doing this sort of 
tickly nibble stuff. Yeah, because he likes having his tummy rubbed, but he feels that he has to do something in return for you, so he licks. Don't you, sweetheart? Oh yes, Christopher. <coughs> anyway, that's enough indulgence for one night. Is it? And the pussy has just remained here the whole time doing her bit of licking. Don't you? Hey, do you want to lick me? <gasps> oh dear, what are you doing to her, Christopher? I don't think she wants you down there. I don't know if you can actually see pussy or not here because she's so dark. But there she is, and that is her face. That's it. There's, oh, there's a good girl. There's a good girl. Oh, oh, Chase. Chase. Oof. What are you doing? And um, what's Christopher doing? Oof. Oof. <laughs> well, Madam is really giving me filthy looks over here. So down you get. Come on in. Come on in. There we go. Oops. Oh, that was a bit clumsy, wasn't it? There. Now she's happy. She's saying, why are all those other dogs on my dad's lap? I can't believe I've turned into one of those awful people who talk to their dogs the way I just did. But I can't help it when she's so gorgeous, aren't you? Are you a good girl, Whitney? Or are you still going to sulk and not look at me? No, she says, you had all those other dogs on your lap. Now you just have to worship me. Is that right? You do, do you forgive me now? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're a weirdo, madam. <laughs> Look at you. Anyway, see ya. <laughs>